Hey, what's going on, Paisanos? It's Ken's Increase, and you have me here. I'm looking down, but no, my camera's right here. Uh, you have me here, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts for the Avengers beta week one or weekend one, one. Uh, and it's just gonna be me talking. I'm not gonna put the video clips in because you guys will be able to watch those. They're all up on Twitch right now, and at the end of this video, I will give you the new rundown. So, let's just jump into it. Uh, I got my script on my phone. You guys can see it right there. We're just going to run through it really fast and give my thoughts of each of the uh, four heroes that are in the game so far. Uh, but first, we're going to start out with Hulk because I enjoyed playing him a lot. Also, I want to state real quick, if you can hear my fans, because it's hot as balls in my room. My air conditioner isn't working. Normally, you guys hear that, but it isn't. Also, if you see my bed right there, a dog may appear. If she does, let me know in the comments. Uh, but no, uh, Hulk, he's strong but slow. He's very fun to play. It's like, between him and Iron Man, I like probably Iron Man just a little bit more. But Hulk, if I'm playing a real people, is who I want to play as. So, that's my thoughts. You know, with him in general. Uh, he's slower and stronger... And he moves a little bit slower, but at the same time, if you played any of the old Hulk games on regular Xbox or around the time when the two movies came out in the early 2000s before Iron Man, uh, he feels the same way. It's just, you know, he's a little bit slower. One thing to note with him is he moves faster when jumping constantly. So when you jump with him, you jump, you land, you hit jump again, you'll go higher and further. That's the big thing to note with him. There are levels in the beta where you can't do that, so he does feel slower. But he's, like, taking up majority of the room in the area you're in, too, in those levels. But on the ones where you're out in the open, he's so much fun to play because you just jump, land, hit it again, and then you just go skyrocketing off. Uh, all the heroes in general feel a little bit slow, but they feel right. Uh... He has a lot of iconic moves from his past video game appearances. One of them for short is when you slam the ground in MVC, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 if you don't know, so MVC 2, and it, it does like a little shockwave with the ground, and then he pulls it up too. He has that one combo, it's like one of his basic combos he has. That's in the game. The other one he has is where he would... He grabbed Loki in the first Avengers movies and flipped them around constantly. He has that. If you played Marvel Heroes, he had one where he uh, does like a Donkey Kong ground pound where he just starts hitting the ground and makes tremors. He has that. Uh, he can grab people and throw them. That's one thing from the... Uh, I want to... Not Eric Bana, but the other Hulk movie... Uh, I can't think of his actor's name. I can't think of his name, but yeah. Well, in that game, you can grab people and throw them. Uh, he has Thunderclap. He has a thing where you grab rocks and throw them. That's another one from the, one of the older Hulk games. Like His moveset, if you played Hulk in any like modern take of a Marvel game, or just Marvel heroes in general, he feels very, very similar. Uh, all these characters feel like uh, updated version of Marvel Heroes in my opinion. This game feels like a 3D version of Marvel Heroes in my opinion. So anyway, uh, he's fun to use. I do think Thunderclap needs to, Thunderclap needs to be buffed to do more damage and have more range. But the only time I really use it is when I'm in an enclosed corridor and a bunch of people are like right in front of me. You just see me go plow, and then you didn't see that. You see me go plow, and then everything dies in front of me. But the stronger enemies barely get hurt from it because they have shields and stuff. So I think the ultimates in general should break through shields. And I think that's one thing with Hulk that should as well. Uh, he has another move called Rage. And there's a lot of different little effects with that. Usually I use that whenever I'm about to die. Because when that is active, I believe you regen health as you hit people or kill people. It's one of the two things. I didn't really pay attention to it because... I was trying to more focus on just playing and seeing that it all happen. Uh, you guys can see that in my Let's Play videos from the, this past weekend. 
I didn't get every mission, but I got most of them. Uh, I went and played last night and got the rest of them done, but this coming up weekend I'll probably be playing with a friend, but that's a different story. Uh, the rage move, it saved my life multiple times. Uh, he is vulnerable to the shielded enemies. That's the one problem with him is because to break the shields, you have to do like s slow charge-ups and then slams. But as soon as you break the shields, you can just do your light attack, grab them, then you do your heavy and do your Loki throw. Uh, so once you, the shields break on the bigger enemies, he's just fantastic to play. He is also just fantastic to play in general. That's why I like him a lot. Uh, next, Iron Man is... Oh, Hulk is kind of your tank as well. So he, he can go down quickly if you don't have Rage active. Because Rage uses the gamma energy that you built up as your life as well. And that's how your energy or your life as well recharges. Be it, again, it's something that you'll just have to watch the videos and see. It's hard to explain until I can read, sit down and read the actual description of the skills, which I couldn't do fully uh, in this build. If I could, I couldn't find it. So, but Iron Man is a general purpose character has okay melee and uh the reason why i say okay because it's like five ticks or five skill points can be spent in melee and he has good range because you have three actual skill trees of range so he's better at range but he's good at melee at taking down shields as well so with him what i tend to do is that when shields are up I have three medium or three left clicks and then one power button. I moved it to right click just on keyboard and mouse at standard to be F, I believe. And that's how I would do, let's say, a repulsor attack so, or a laser attack or a missile attack. If you have it set up to repulsors, you do three left clicks and then the power button. And you would do a jump up and then fire a repulsor straight down at the ground. And it would bust a shield. And it would stun a little bit. So he's very good at breaking shields. He's also very good at taking out the range characters by flying to them quickly. Either meleeing or ranging them depending on how you're built. Uh, I had my range higher on damage than my melee. But I meleeed and mixed in range of uh, uh, repulsor shots with my melee. So I'd start a combo, break the shield, then I would do a couple melee hits, a couple repulsors to knock them back, and then dash back at them. So, his specials are okay. He has a, a arc reactor overload that's a AOE stun for robots. I don't remember what it did with humans because when I was fighting robots, I was more worried about them because they had shields and they were harder to take down. So I didn't really bother to look to see if there's humans around. But I know with them, the uh, reactor stuns them. Uh, you get, I believe, unlimited energy for a short time or very high recharge rate is one of the two. Uh, so you can fire your pulsers, you can do uh, lasers or missiles because that takes up your energy for the suit. And your melee recharges that energy. Uh, but his Unibeam, which is his second special, is very short. I think that thing needs to be charged up longer. Because that's an iconic move. And I think that move deserves a little bit more love, in my opinion. It's kind of weak as well. I do understand them wanting all the moves to be buffed by gear. I truly do understand that, but I think it should be a little bit longer and a little bit more powerful as the base itself. His uh, ultimate or third special would be the Hulkbuster, and I'm cool with that if you want to do melee. But two things need to happen. Melee needs to have more abilities or more things to build into so you can do more with the melee. Or two, you need a second ultimate for range builds. I personally am still waiting for a modern day video game to give me my stupid uh, proton cannon from Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, so yeah, I, I would love to have that and just like, plop, let's do it. Because the Hulkbuster appears the exact same way as the damn 
uh, un or, uh, proton cannon in Marvel vs. Capcom 1. It just appears out of nowhere, looking like nano machines are building it. So, and the other thing with Hulkbuster, it says on this uh, ability, I don't remember where I found it, so I couldn't look up the ability for Rage with Hulk, that if you hold three, you can place it down in the map and your teammates should be able to get into it. If you tap three, you get into it. So, uh, next is Black Widow. She's very fast at, clo at closing distance between targets because she has a zip line. Uh, her melee combat is very good, and for your basic attack, it's very quick, very weak, but you get quick ha quick attacks off really fast, so you're doing more damage per second. She is a DPS character of the group. Uh, her batons are a little bit slower, but they're a lot stronger. So you have to mix your combos with the uh, weak attacks with the strong attacks. Her range attack is a dual pistols, I believe. And they're okay. They're not repulsors, you know, but they're stronger than Hulk's Rock. I don't know how, but they are. So uh, her specials are pretty good. Her f One of the, her specials, I think it's the first one, is a cloak for her the group. It's an AoE cloak. I don't know if you have to be next to her. I think you do. I think it's a certain area around her. All the allies get cloaked. Her second one is the uh, thing on her wrist that she shoots out the widow bites or whatever they're called. It would have been cool if she would have had those as a range that you can fire off instead of ha that being a special. And then you can have some kind of uh, special you can fire off with your zip that you can do. You go to it go to your uh, target, you do some kind of fancy uh, attack, and, you know, and, like, some kind of martial arts attack of some kind where you grab the enemy and throw them down. The ultimate is actually really good. It's good for very big waves of enemies, and it is good for AoE stun because it's her, uh, her tonfas put together in a staff that's electrocuted. So you can do very quick, very decently uh, powered attacks. And then her power attack with it would be uh, stab the staff into the ground and it's an AoE electric shock. Uh, I enjoy playing her a little bit, but I played more Iron Man and Hulk because I want to see how they played since I played them both more frequently than Black Widow in Marvel's uh, hero or Marvel Heroes. And all three of these characters very, feel very similar to that game. Like, they all feel like they did in that game. Just a little bit slower. Uh, with the same moves and stuff from that game. So, not, you know, not 100% the same, but very similar. Last but not least, we have Miss Marvel. Uh, comma, comma, oh, why'd I have to try to do this? So, if you don't know, I'm dyslexic. And I can't read things half the time when I'm tired. And I'm looking at this name and the letters are all out of place. But, it's Miss Marvel, uh, Kamala Khan. I hope I said that right. Because I had to close my eyes and I knew how, how it's supposed to look. So yeah, I hope I said that right. She is a good all-around character, actually. It's like playing Mr. Fantastic in Marvel Heroes. Really, truly is. She has good uh, AoE attacks. Good, like, you do a long melee punch, or you can do a sweeping kick. Her Q ability, I think if you tap it, you can dodge or shapeshift away from a attack. So it, it's good for that, and if you activate it, you grow a little bit, and your attacks are powered up a little bit. Uh, her first special is a heal it's really good she is the support character for the group in my opinion and it's good to have her out and about where she can heal everybody her second attack is I think I'm gonna go one piece terms I think it's shotgun where you do two hands like this and it sh stretches out into a person it might only be one I think it might be one it might be pistol but it's an open palm uh, attack where she stretches out. Her ultimate, she grows and shapeshifts to be a little bit bigger. 
and pr pretty much turns into the Hulk with wider attacks and quicker attacks. Her attacks are, I think, just as strong as normal Hulk, uh, but they're faster and they cover more area. So, in all, I like all four characters. The one I probably will play the most out of the four might be Iron Man, depending on if his ultimate gets a uh, second one or lets you pick a second one. If not, it might be Hulk if I'm playing a real people. So, I can't wait to actually play as Thor because I've got to play as him in the A-Day mission, which is up right now on my YouTube. That will be in the card in one of those corners. Uh, but, yeah, it, I can't wait to play him because he's cool. You throw his hammer and if you don't hit the power button again, or the range attack button again to toggle, or if you have it set up, you can press it and it'll stay in range mode. Or if it's by default, you have to hold it down. So if you hit that button while the hammer's out, the hammer will come back. If you don't, the hammer stays. So that is really cool. Uh, his attacks it's in themselves are really fun. Uh, his power attack is like a you slam the hammer to the ground and some lightning comes up. I don't know where my hand is right here. Like a little bit further ahead of it. But, it, it, you know, he seems pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait to see how that plays out. But now, what you guys might be waiting for, I don't know. Let me know if you are. The new schedule. So Monday will be a Let's Play from the stream I do over the weekend or on my night off. Or just me doing random stuff. It'll be a part of a full live stream. Wednesday will be a video like this, where it's either edited or a one-shot video that I do without having to worry about editing anything. So keep an eye out for those. Those will be more informational-based compared to just a Let's Play. Friday will be a full live stream uh, archive, I guess it will be. It will be the, my full stream that I do, and you'll get to see all the parts before the other parts get released individually. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new schedule. If you guys want to help me make a better schedule where you can ask me questions and I can do Q&A stuff, make sure you go down in the description and check out my Patreon link. If you want to help support the channel in a different way and you have some more uh, expendable income, you can check out these guys right here. Triumph Chairs. There will be a link in the description as well. Use promo code CREASY and you'll get uh, some money off. I think it's 10%. It's been a little bit since I looked at it, so forgive me for not knowing that off the top of my head. But if you guys... I'm trying to pull it up right now. I'm trying to be quick about it. Uh, let me see here. Dang it, it, it didn't pull up. I'm sorry. I think it's 10%. But if you want to, there's a link for that. There's a Audible 30-day trial. I believe an Amazon Day 30-day trial. And a link to support me through Stone Age Gamer, as I believe are the ones that are in the description. Uh, you guys can check those out and give me a shout-out. If you do hit the uh, want to support me using Patreon, you'll be the one that helps, or one of the first ones that helped me set up the rewards for patreon to benefit you guys and get what you guys want also all the rewards are based off pizza because i love my pizza so with all that said thank you guys for watching this is longer than i wanted it to be but i had a lot to cover peace out and have a wonderful night